Okay, here we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna keep going with a couple more tutorials. Uh, which direction we're gonna go to finish this uh, concept car modeling. And so I'm gonna start off where I left off with this uh, uh, car that I built in the first tutorial and um, the Alpha 68 Alpha uh, Barton de Car Carabo. Barton de Carabo. And um, so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to put our wheels and tires on just to make sure we've got those sized up correctly. And then we're going to, I'm going to make a, a shell of this, put on the going doors, put a hinge on for the doors, and then that'll be it. And then we can work on 3D printing them. Uh, so uh, maybe the first thing here that I'm going to tackle is... Uh, uh, sizing it and then adding the, the wheel and tire and so I'm going to show you something that I haven't done yet uh, because I just went right into modeling it but I'm going to measure this one from tip to tail point here and you're going to see it's 9.78 that's perfect and uh, uh, the printer can print up to 10 inches so um, that'll just barely fit in the 3d printer and I could print that all as one so I'm happy with that. If yours is too big or too small, we can scale it up and down. Uh, again, that would be this option right here. And I can help you, you know, figure out what the math is. But you'd hit scale. And then um, you could pick this point down here in the middle. You know, the origin. And you could, like, make it twice a day, for example. Uh, but um, I like this one. Um, so, and I've obviously, if I make this twice as big, it's going to be tw 20 inches long then. So, uh, at just under 10 inches, this one will work just perfect for me. And then with every model that has an assembly model here that I haven't even used yet. So what I'm going to do now is insert. And what you should see come up is the current document that you're working on. The first thing you can put in there is your car body and when when you insert let me redo this be careful not be careful but it's just a good practice to not click it anywhere you want it to be at the origin see how if i click over here then it just drops it in at the origin and then i right click on it and i fix it so now i can't move it and it's set there at the origin it's in the right location and now i'm going to add my wheel and tire so now i go to other documents over here say owned by me I scroll down I see my wheel and tire, I'm gonna pick out. I'm just gonna put it in right here and move it around. So what you should notice right away is that the wheel and tire, and I'm gonna turn perspective off. The, is too big for this car body. And so I'm gonna adjust that. That's one of the uh, first things I'm gonna do here. And it, um, if I, if I have this approximated correctly, I think it looks to me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this up. It looks to me like it needs to be about, I'll say, a, I'm going to try a 0.75 scale uh, smaller on the wheel and tire. And so I'm actually going to try this in, right here in the model and see if this works. I'm going to right click on this part two over here and say edit in context now i'm going to go ahead and pick on the transform and then i'm going to pick scale and i'm going to pick this point in the middle over here and then i'm going to type in 0.7 as the scale factor uh, and up here, the entity is going to be the wheel and tire. There it is. It, it actually scaled it down right there for us to show me what uh, roughly that would look like. That doesn't look small enough. I don't think it'll fit in my wheel well. That looks like too much. Uh, so maybe I was wrong. Point seven. Let's just go with that and say yes. And then I'm going to move it to see. And then what I'll do is I'll say... Uh, update, go back to assembly, and there it is. And now I can still move it, so I'm going to move it. 
That looks perfect. I'm really happy with that. You'll notice that that didn't ever really get moved out. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Um, now, I'm not going to be too worried about, like we did before, uh, getting all the wheels and tires in here. Uh, because I'm pretty happy with that fit right there. And uh, uh, I'm going to print the wheel and tire separately from the body of the car. And then we're just going to assemble them on. But what we will need, actually, I just realized that's not going to be true, guys. We're going to need at least another one of these wheels and tires at the back. Because what we have to do is put in um, the um, axle shaft. Uh, holes. I thought I, I copied and pasted that when I just did. I oh, here it is. It's here. I did copy and I did paste, but um, it didn't paste it where I wanted. And so I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm trying to see. Delete that. Copy. And then paste. Grab this one. I need it to be on the same parallel. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to also bring it, rotate over. Okay, that's more so what I'm going to look. I see that uh, with this current setup. Uh, I'm going to have a little interference here on my uh, fender with the top of the wheel. Oh, it's just so close. So now I can do the same thing here under my part one and right click. And I'm going to, uh, again, on part one, the body, I'm going to edit in context here. Nice. And then on this face right here, we are going to sketch and we're going to use um, right here, that hole right there, and that hole right there that are on the wheel and tire. Now I want those holes to be just a little bigger than that because I... Um, I want that axle shaft as it rotates in there to actually rotate and not be held really stiff. Uh, that way this, these little uh, cars can roll a little bit. So I'm actually going to make an offset to that and just a little small amount. And we'll say, I'll click in there instead of 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.125. It actually looks like a little too much, so let me revise that. Uh, control Z, Control Z, or just the background as well. I think I'm waiting for the my computer to catch up here. Hold on a second. And Control Z. There it is. Okay, we'll try this one more time. I think I'll just leave it where I, I just really want not very much, maybe like a, like a 0.06. That seems to be pretty good. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it right there. And then I didn't mean to get out of that. Sorry. And then I'm going to cut the original. There we go. Do the same thing back here. Seven work, and then I'll cut out. Good. And now I can pick those two uh, faces that I just made that one and that one, and delete, or uh, sorry, uh, extrude, remove, symmetric. And just make sure I pull that out to go all the way through both sides of the car. 
And then right now, um, I should be removing it from part one. And I should see, it. yeah, I can see it over there now. Looks good. And now I go, go to assembly. And you'll see there's a hole going all the way through that our axle will sit in. And then the axle will also uh, press into the centers of the wheels. Now, um, one more thing. Let me do this. Let me go back to the part studio side here of my car concept. And uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is add gullwing wing doors to this project. So I'm just gonna see Angel. I'm going to, um, what's called shell. Uh, Thicken is another way to do this and that's the way we did the foam project. But uh, I'm going to use the shell tool right now. Just gotta find it, here it is. Shell, any faces to remove, so I can remove faces while I do this. In this case, uh, I'll just make it hollow, and then it says what to, and it's gonna be this. How thick, I'll do like 0.125. That's a uh, eighth of an inch. And then um, I'll say yes, okay. Now, what I want you to see is you don't you don't even know what I did until I show you a section view, and I'm going to pick the right plane. There it is. You see how this thing is like a now, it's like a hollow shell itself. Okay. 